Welcome back to the show once again. Our next guest, of course, is an award-winning, best-selling author, radio personality, and musician. That is right. And he also... And he's hot. He has a jaunty <laughs> chapeau today because he is fresh off the plane from Paris. How are you? Hello. Bonjour, Great to see you guys. Bonjour. 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 Comment ça va? See, the first question yeah. was going to be, you've been in the south of France for a while. You've yeah. managed to avoid being fluent in the language. Well, How long were you there? That's actually the whole point of, of why I chose to go there. I was there for a couple of weeks. My wife is there. She's in an intense French language course. Yeah. And I was looking for a place to get away from CBC for a while to concentrate on writing my next book. And I'm such a yacker. I'm such an eavesdropper everywhere oh, yeah. I go. I can never pay attention. So I'm distracting. Just tweeting what yeah. other people are saying. Listen <laughs> to this. You know. And uh, so I thought, why don't I go somewhere where I do not, I can't speak. I can't eavesdrop. Nothing. Did but, it help? Uh, it did help. I got a lot of work done. And uh, but you know, I mean, I I also my. My high school French vocabulary came rushing back, but that didn't really help. And you're really like, help. oh, you know, Grant, Grant, la Grant I, I call a small amount of BS because you could have gone to Russia. You could have gone to Siberia. No, my, but instead, for some you reason, wife. my wife was in was there, right? There's Doesn't romance. she want to learn Russian? Hey, she wants to learn French. I said, what's wrong with Shakutami in January? So, uh, <laughs> but so, so there, but I mean, there were embarrassing moments. Uh, we were in a tiny little village. And I repeatedly introduced my wife around the village as my daughter oh. uh, in French. Oh, Be boy! People would find out that I was Canadian. They go, oh, you Ma know, fille? French, 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 yeah. French, blah, blah. and and uh, you know, French Canadian. I yeah. said, no, 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 oust. Oost, moi, oost. Me just, West, yeah, yeah, me West. So oh I my God. sort of got along with sort of cavemen French. My wife also informed me that I just flat out propositioned our French maid. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. excellent. I didn't how, wanna, did, how did it work, though? Well, I mean, right? You're, you're wondering why she's hitting on you the whole time. Well, I didn't want to leave the apartment while she cleaned it. So I said, I learned some, so I, I figured out phrases to You're say You're like, I'll just stay in bed. Yeah, no, I said, when she arrived, she'd go, you know, she said, French, 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 you leave. And uh, I said, no, moi et toi, ici, maintenant. <laughs> <laughs> Here now, and, baby. Uh, yeah, and she, you know, her eyes. That is funny. Yeah. So you were there, we have to congratulate you because uh, based on, um, uh, on your last book, which I always say is just such an incredible read mm -hmm. and people should pick it up. But you have a two-book deal with Douglas and Mac. Yeah, that's right. Uh, a fantastic Western Canadian publisher nice. and uh, signed on with them for the next two. Kind of working on uh, both of them. One's going to be a book. So uh, Adventures in Solitude was the first one. What are yeah. the other two? Yeah, well, the next, we're, I'm going to do a book about hockey. Good. And, and my kind of love-hate with, with the game of hockey uh, being that... Um, I came from the game as a very, I loved the game as a, as a kid, but I was quite frankly bullied out of it because, you know, as you can tell, I'm not exactly a strapping. Everybody got big. Same thing happened to yeah. me, Grant. Yeah. As soon I, as hitting came into the game, I, it was well, done for me. Uh, I, 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 it was before that for me, as soon as hitting came to my face <laughs> in grade three or so, I was sort You're of out. phased out. And But I love it. Yeah. I love the game. but. The bullying, it is basically an, ex, an ex, it's something that ex, is accepted in the game of hockey. And as, encouraged. Yeah. As we saw, mm -hmm. the bullies win in hockey. Yeah. As we saw in uh, the Stanley Cup final last yes. year, as I believe I wept about yeah. on this yeah, yeah. couch. Bullying isn't just accepted, it's encouraged yeah. as, as part of the game, and you're manly if you are... Right. Yeah. And, and, and this has been a thread through, the, through hockey for many, many decades. There's the Broad Street Bullies, there was Maurice Richard, and people always say, "Oh, it's gone. That's gone." Well, it's not gone, no. and it still exists. So I'm examining that. And what wow. about the other one? And then the other one is going to be about my my music career. The smugglers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, nice, which um, you have funny stories with the smugglers. Yeah, though. I mean, it's uh, the the our music career was we were kind of like the Forrest Gump of rock and roll. Yeah. yeah. You know, we were always kind of oh, you know, we were we were in Seattle when uh, right. when Nevermind broke. Uh, what did, who was it? I can't remember which author it was. Maybe Faulkner or uh, Fifth Business. Oh, yeah. Is the term in theater where they are the nece the necessary ingredient for the hero or anti-hero <laughs> well, to achieve their goals. I don't know if we were a part of the ingredient. We were just, you know, I remember you were nearby. We yeah. were nearby. Proximity we were in the, we were in the proximity. 
<laughs> we were assigned to a, a record company called Lookout, Lookout. Uh, and Green Day were on Lookout, and we happened to be in the office when the Platinum Records arrived. So we were just sort of got those for us. Like, at the edge of that. Okay, we really quickly yeah. have to get to your pictures oh, yes, yes, that you yes, brought yes. today. All yeah. right. Now There's, the first one is this south of France. This is this is south of France. This is my writing sabbatical in the south of France. Looks really tough there, Grant. And there, that's wow. that's Cannes. That's a, a, a boat in Cannes. This is a friend of mine, uh, Wayne, who. Uh, as a boat took, took us around the harbor. You can see there, nice that's, work. that's January in yeah, France. Yeah, that looks nice. And you went to Hotel de Paris. Hotel de Paris in Monte Carlo. The cocktails are uh, 40 euros each. That's How many Canadian what? dollars is that? That'd be about 50. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah that's, yeah. wow. For a cocktail. Were they wow, good? They were banged. fantastic. Okay, well that This matters. is uh, Villa Nelcote. This is where, uh, Cote, Villa Nelcote. Yeah. This is where um, the Rolling Stones made one of their most famous albums, uh, Exile on Main Street, yeah. 1971. The year I was born, Keith Richards rented this place out. Yeah. That's about as far as I could get. I'm but just you're reading his rock and roll face there. Yeah, I, I give you points Nick. for that. And there, that's is the, that your writing venue? That's the writing venue. Oh, Grant, if you don't write a bestseller, then there's just no <laughs> point. Is Where's there? the maid? So there, well, <laughs> she she took the photo. So, <laughs> so there, I've got my French beer, my thesaurus, my bottle of water there. That's the uh, Ville Franche. Harbor in the old town. I see a brewski Look on the table that. too. Yeah, that's my little well, French beer. Inspired. Yeah. So uh, this whole time you're sitting there writing, and Jill, your lovely wife, yeah. is off doing an intensive like nine to five. Yeah, you nine don't want to learn the language. You don't want to communicate nothing. nothing. Well, sh you know, it's you know, it's like when I'm with her in the village, I, and they're you know speaking to me. I do the old. Yeah. I think so they're talking to you. How's Jill's French now? Is Excellent. It really? Yeah, she's in the advanced class. She's she's very very good, and she does extremely well in Quebec. Yeah. Uh, my wife, yeah. singer, her, her and, music career. Yeah, yeah. and uh, and so uh, she's she wants to be able to say more than bonjour. And oh, that's uh, nice. well, well, that's well. better than the Canadians' uh, coach is doing, right? I exactly. Mean, okay. Maybe he Montreal. should go to the south of France. Yeah. Let's talk about music picks, okay, Mr. Yeah. Grant Lawrence. Okay. My other hat, so I'll just adjust. Dude, the, there we go. I'll there, adjust the better. There we go. So yeah, uh, the upcoming. Uh, <laughs> there's a great. ton of upcoming music highlights in 2012. A lot of them Canadian. Uh, one from Vancouver coming out in. March at Said the Whale. I think we've got there's. Their, we saw a great documentary on these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah you were made, in that made, documentary. Made, yeah, made from CBC. Canadian so band Said the Whale yeah, had an interesting I, incident. I did know. the only acting in that whole documentary. So the record's called Little Mountain. It's coming out on March 6. Uh, the most anticipated indie rock record yeah. coming out from these Vancouver. Guys are great, huge talents. Uh, on kind of a Canada-wide scale, one of my favorite bands is the Weaker Thans. Yeah. And the lead singer has broken off solo. His name is John K. Sampson. His record is called Provincial. It just came out on Tuesday. What do you nice. think? Excellent singer-songwriter record, if that's your thing. And then Kanon is back. This is his follow, the, the first record, the first music he's put out since the huge worldwide smash hit yeah. of uh, Wave and Flag. Yeah. And uh, so we're going to find out. Can he follow it up? I mean, and that you was say it's one pretty of, poppy. Very, very poppy. Uh, the, the first song is a duet with... Uh, uh, Nelly Furtado. Nelly Furtado. Timberland on there too. I'm not sure. <laughs> Put them all in there. Yeah, just, just. But you this know. is so the music industry in huh? the pop stage. It's like you throw all yeah. the, you know, you and just, just hope that something sticks. And uh, but this well, is going to be interesting because I mean, Wave and Flag. One of uh, people don't realize one of the biggest Canadian hits of all, all time. time. Yeah, it was Turn huge. on the TV, you'll hear it in every ad. Well, yeah. World Cup. Yeah. I mean, it was at you know Olympics, everything. Yeah. So big crazy. year for Canadian music in 2012 for sure. Lots of fantastic well, records coming. Well, we're looking for. Forward to the next two books too. You better oh, get writing there, a lot. kids. Thanks. There you go. Awkward silence. Oh, were you handing <laughs> that over to me? Yeah. I'm like, I was thinking to myself, you I am. You just like went out to our Well, no, space. I was thinking about how much Grant has to say about hockey. I was actually. Oh, well, having, hey, having how exciting. Yeah, yeah and, and Fiona, you've got a. Uh, I, I saw Michael up in Desolation Sound in the summer. We got to get you up there. I got to yeah. go. Yeah. We got to do it for him. You'll, you'll hate it. But I you've got it. <laughs> <laughs> shower? No, not maybe, so much. Blow dryer? Not, not so toilet. Much.